I took our devotional reading for this month from the entry for 19 March with the topic failure. Our Bible verse is from Jeremiah 8 verse 4. You shall say to them, thus says the Lord, do men fall and not get up again? Does one turn away and not repent? We have all been unwise in one way or another, coveting when we should have been content, backsliding when we should have been overcomers, superficial when we should have been real and barren when we should have been bearing fruit. Such failure can easily trip us up, make us despondent and cause us to stop trying. And yet failure is part of life and thus some of the greatest heroes in the Bible have checkered pasts. Abraham, at his wife's bidding, had a child with her servant girl, Hagar. Moses killed a man and lived as a fugitive for 40 years. Peter, the rock, denied his Lord three times. And Paul persecuted Christians until God intervened. Did God still use them? Absolutely. He knows our human limitations and sinful natures, and thus our failures do not disqualify us. He kept his promise to Abraham, called Moses from a burning bush, reinstated Peter and sent Paul into all the world as his special messenger. This same God calls us to. In spite of our failures, he forgives us when we ask, enables us when we are inadequate and blesses us as we humble ourselves. And thus refined, we are now ready to obey. Let's pray together. Father, your power is made perfect in weakness. You know that we are human and that disappointments are a part of our lives. Thank you for encouraging us to get up when we fall, even if we fall seven times, the Bible says. Help us not to repeat our mistakes, but to overcome them, even using them to secure success. Amen. Thank you.